Dadaab in northeast Kenya is one of the oldest and largest refugee camps in Africa, where more than half a million people have fled famine, drought and military conflict over the last 22 years. We came to Dadaab when the situation is really too harsh, a lot of heat, a lot of dust, no proper education system. Connectivity is key to development. To take any area from one step to the next, you need to have connectivity. When you connect people through the internet or through different means, uh, you're basically uh, flattening the world for them. In 2011, the worst drought in more than 60 years created a severe food and water crisis in Somalia. This resulted in an influx of refugees in Dadaab, causing the United Nations and other non-governmental organizations to be stretched beyond their limits in provision of food, housing, sanitation, and medical relief. In the summer of uh, 2011, we were asked by USAID if we can improve the connectivity situation in Dadaab. So NetHope got together with our partners, Invineo, Cisco, Microsoft, and commissioned by USAID, we came to Dadaab and we were able to significantly improve the connectivity. Everything was on two-way satellites at that time, so we were able to come with an innovative solution that convinced the local service providers to bring more affordable, reliable connectivity to a very remote region of Kenya. USAID's Global Broadband Innovations, in partnership with NetHop, focuses on underserved regions where technology is limited or absent. Our role in Dadaabnet has actually been key to connecting all the humanitarian agencies together so that they can be able to effectively communicate and run their businesses and assist the community. With the Dabnet, learning in the Norwegian Refugee Council's Youth Education Pact, YEP Centers, has been simplified. At times you find that we don't have four teachers to run the classes concurrently in the different centers. Whenever that is not the case, we can have one teacher in one center actually deliver content to more than one center. Health facilities have also benefited through data collection and distribution. There is a system, the health information system, where uh, data is uh, collected and uh, is, is basically posted uh, to the donors uh, for accountability purposes, first of all, and also for uh, replenishment, what you need in terms of uh, medicines and everything. So it has helped us move faster and communicate better. We are communicating so many things such as in a, we have a relatives from Somalia, if they are if they're still fighting is there, if Somalia became this, we are, we are communicating that. It gives us a sense of pride and joy when we look at where we have come from, where we are now, and realizing that this is something we can even take to Kakuma, help the Sudanese refugees who are there. Through education and vocational training, Dadaabnet has empowered refugees in Dadaab, making it possible for them to acquire skills that they can depend on. I'm now educated, I have my diploma. I don't lose hope.